Esther from InspireWorks, and I'm your host for today's workshop. Thank you for joining us. InspireWorks facilitators work with over 65,000 workshop participants a year. They are the current Guinness World Record holders for both the largest standard band and the largest drumming lessons, and are the three times finalists for the Music Teacher Awards. Over the next hour, our facilitators are going to show their expertise and knowledge in a few styles of European and Asian music and dance. We are starting with a Balinese monkey charm workshop. Your InspireWorks facilitator today is Mike Simpson, who is the co-founder of InspireWorks. As well as heading up InspireWorks, he is also a senior examiner for Trinity College London and is the author of Rheingold Education Teach and Play World Music Series of Teaching Resources. He has led workshops throughout the UK and at the Street Child World Cup in Rio de Janeiro and Moscow. Mike is also much in demand as a teacher trainer leading workshops on how to teach world music at Reading University, Oxford Book University and many educational conferences. We are thrilled he's going to lead us in the workshop today. Over to you Mike. Hello, my name is Mike from InspireWorks and the first house that my wife and I lived in when we were living in Bali in Indonesia was on the Monkey Forest Road and we saw the Balinese macaque monkeys quite a lot and you know we, we learned very quickly that these Balinese macaque monkeys they know they're grey monkeys about that big with big long tails they don't go ooh, 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 like you know that sound that a lot of children think monkeys make the Balinese monkeys go check that's all they do after I say three four can you say check three four check easy now so you've got to imagine it's spelled c-h-a and you say it as short as possible check should we try this all? Three, four, check. Great. Now, when they are in Bali, if you do go to Bali on holiday, it's a great place to go to. Go there after the lockdown. And you will probably see advertised to go and see a Balinese monkey chant or sometimes monkey dance performance. Its proper name is Kechak. That's spelled K-E-C-A-K. -E and this is this image behind me is of a Balinese monkey chant performance always performed by lots of men sitting, about 100 men, all sitting in concentric circles. And when the performers perform, they always wear these sarongs. You can see like the one I've got here, it's a black sarong, the short one around the outside is called a sapu, and then a long, um, so a black one in the center, and the long one, and then the short one, which is called a sapu, the, um, which is all checked, is um, around the outside. So that's like the uniform you have to wear if you're going to perform in the monkey dance. Now, here's how some of the parts go. There's one of the parts, really simple, we just say chat three times, over and over again. So it goes, chat, 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 easy. Now, the thing is, is trying to know how that fits within the ensemble, how it fits within the pulse. Now, there's one person in this whole group here who has a very important job because you see, these sounds we're making sound a little bit like the sounds from the Gamelan Orchestra because you have these, these are symbols that you get in a Gamelan Orchestra and they're actually really loud. So you can hear that sounds very much like the sound I was just going chat, chat, chat. So some people think the monkey dance is kind of a vocal reproduction of gamelan instruments from Indonesia. So because of that, there's one person in the group who keeps everyone in time together and they have to imitate the sound of the beat keeper's gong. And it's a quite a small deadened gong and it almost sounds a bit like a woodblock. That person in the monkey chart, they just go pong, 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 pong the whole time. That's all they do. <laughs> and uh, but that keeps everyone in time. So if you imagine I'm going to clap that pulse. Boom, 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 boom. Now that chat three part I was just saying goes like this. Chat, 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 chat. You see, it doesn't start on a pulse. It starts in between two of the pulses. So it goes three, four, one. Chat, 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 three, four, one. Chat, chat, chat. Chat, chat, chat. Should we try it together? Ready? Three, four, one. Chat, chat, chat. 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 Great and stop. Easy. Right. Now that's one of the parts. There's another part that's called chat seven. Very simply, we say chat seven times. Chat, 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 chat. Chat, 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 chat. Now you notice that seventh one, I just said chat a little bit higher, and sometimes you get that in some of the groups as well, just accents it slightly. So that starts on a pulse. So shall we try it together? Three, four. Chat, 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 
Check, 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 there is a third part as well, because so if those chat parts are trying to maybe sound like the cymbals as well as sound like the monkeys, there's a part where some people are supposed to sound a bit like the gongs you get in the gamelan orchestra. Now the gongs, you know, they're the big resonant gongs. In Bali, in the gamelan, you just get three different gongs. In Java, the island next to Bali, you'd get maybe up to ten. But in Bali, it's just three of them. And there's a small one that goes beep. There's a medium one that goes boo. And then there's a really big one that goes yeah. So we kind of put the three of those together to make up our nice little rhythm and it goes beep, boo, beep, ga, beep, boo, beep, ga, beep, boo, beep, ga. So we shall try it together, buddy, and it starts on the beat. Three, four, beep, boo, beep, ga, beep, boo, beep, ga, beep, boo, beep, ga. Stop, great. Now, the only thing is, at the moment, we don't look very much like Balinese monkeys, and we're trying to do this monkey chant, monkey dance performance, so we need to look more like them. So, what you need to do, can you put your hands on your knees? However, can you put your hands so your fingers are on the inside of your knees, and your thumbs on the outside? It's a bit hard for me to show you here on this video, but you can see that makes your elbows stick out, and that's what we want. It makes you look more like one of these Balinese monkeys you always see sitting on walls and on the ground, and in trees. And um, then, we have to jiggle our shoulders up and down. Now we're going to jiggle our shoulders at the speed of sort of check, 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 that's the speed. Now here's a bit of multitasking. We're going to go right together, three, four, and left together, three, four, right, two, three, four, left, two. Let's try our parts. Check, 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 last one. Beep, boo, beep, ga, beep, boo, beep, ga, beep, boo, beep, ga, beep, boo, beep, ga, and stop. Great. Now, how do they know when to stop? Well, what happens is that this kind of stuff keeps going for quite a long time. And you'll see it's always performed outside. And if I move out the way, it's like, oh, look, you can see there's some fire in the center. There we go. And that's like this metal sculpture that's in the center, which all the performers are facing. And you can see actually this particular performance is on the edge of a cliff. That's the sea behind it. It's an amazing setting to do this performance. And they always perform it when it's going dark or sometimes when it's gone really dark in the evening. So it looks very dramatic. But all these performers, they are singing, vocalizing all the parts and chanting all the parts but also, because they're moving, and when they all move at the same way together, it looks amazing when you see the whole circle kind of move round and round together like that. It's great. But also, they are often part of the scenery. Because you see, a monkey chant performance, a catch up performance, would normally last about an hour. And in that hour, they are telling a story, normally from some of their Hindu um, books, the Ramayana or Mahabharata. They're telling some stories from that. And there are some dancers who come on dressed in some amazing costumes, lots of gold, lots of jewels over them. They come in the centre and they dance and act out the story by dancing. So the performers, um, or the Ketchak chorus as they're known, are sometimes also having to be bits of scenery. So sometimes they've got to put their hands in the air like you can see this particular shot. They all do that together. Um, sometimes they all move to one side. Sometimes they all fall backwards together. Um, but there's one bit, a little accent, a little break you hear happen a lot. And it's where you hear the leader, who's normally sitting in the centre, goes, Gee! like that really loudly, and everyone else goes, chat, 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 puts their hands in the air, goes, chat, 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 and then hands straight back on their knees. So shall we try that? Gee! Chat, 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 and hands straight back on your knees. Now, the only thing is, you've got to make sure well, after you've gone, chat, 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 you then go straight back to doing your, um, your, your pattern again. So it goes, gee! Chat, 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 Or the first one is, gee! Chat, 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 Or the last one is G. Chat, 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 beep, boo, beep, ah, beep, boo, beep, ah, beep, boo, beep, ah, and so on. Now, the very ending, I'm going to teach you this. This is really fun. You've got to get one hand, put it on your opposite knee, put your other arm behind your back. And at the same time as doing that, we say S. Okay? And then we do it the other hand. S. So there's two of them. So it goes, S, S, and then what we do is we put both our hands together above our head. You can't really see here with the camera. Both hands above your head, and we say Biu. And then, because it's the end of the piece, we're now very tired. And we go Sir. 
And if you can roll your tongue, that would be really great. That's supposed to sound like the really big gong just really resonating on you. You just keep saying till you run out of breath. So try it from S, really. S, S, B, S, R. So that's how it ends. And you normally see the leader go S just before it happens. So it goes S, 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 B, S, R. Should we try that? S, 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 B, S, R. So, shall we put it all together? G. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you've enjoyed the workshop. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Also, full information about all our activities is on our website. Still to come in our hour of Asian and European music and dance, we have a Greek music workshop, an Indonesian gamelan workshop and a Bollywood dance workshop. Stay tuned! So we put all three together and we have to jig our shoulders the whole time. We all have to move the same direction together and we always go to the right first. So let's start our shoulders first, really. One, two, three. Let's go to the right, right. Start with this group over here. Beep, boo, beep, round. host for today's workshop. I hope you've got something ready you can play and make a sound with during the workshop. Your Inspireworks facilitator today is Kostas Kopanaris. Kostas is from Athens in Greece and studied world percussion at the Philippos Nakas Music School in Greece, African Arts at the Conservatory of Amsterdam and Music Education at Trinity College London. He has worked alongside Greek and international musicians in a vast scope of performances in the most prestigious concert halls and theatres around the world. 
Costas loves working in music education and spreading his passion for music with his students. We are thrilled that he is going to lead us in a workshop today. Over to you, Costas. Hello everyone, I'm Costas from InspireWorks and as part of our Make Music Day, I would like to teach you a rhythm which comes from the country I was born and raised, Greece. Uh, in Greece, music and dance are very related and when we say the name of the rhythm, we're actually referring to the name of the dance. I'm here in a very, very special place, which is called Donusa. It's in the Aegean, it's an Aegean island and is a place that I've witnessed, I've danced and played this style of music. The rhythm, the name of the rhythm that we are going to learn is called Balos. And Balos is, um, it belongs to a family of rhythms from Greece, which we call Sirto. Sirtos is again a folk dance, like Balos, which is also a folk dance. And you can find Sirto in uh, many regions in Greece, and you can find Balos in the Aegean Islands, the Tansa, and the Minor Asia. Um, also, Balos was created by men uh, when in the old days we were not allowed to meet uh, women, so men came up with this dance to be able to meet and socialize with women. Uh, Balos nowadays is a couple's dance, that means that you are going to see a couple uh, dance this music if happens to visit one of these places. Um, we are going to use the three stage method. That means that we're going to say we're going to play as body percussion, our rhythm, and then we're going to use our drums. The words that I would like to use for this rhythm are the following. Play, ba, los, play, ba, los, play, ba, los, play, ba, los, play. Great. Now the next thing that we are going to do, we are going to play this rhythm as body percussion. So I'm going to bring my hands here in my chest and I'm going to say again the words and I'm going to play this rhythm. Ready, steady, here we go. Play, balos, play, balos, play, balos, play, balos. Well done everyone. Now the next thing that we're going to do, we're going to find out how long each note lasts. So I'm going to count up to eight and I'm going to say the rhythm first. Ready, steady, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Play, ba, los, play, ba, los. Did you manage to find out how long its note, its syllables last? Let's take it from the beginning together. Ready, steady, here we go. Play, ba, los, play, ba, los. So we have in the beginning three strokes, play, and then another three, ba, and another two, los, so play, ba, los, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And now we have a structure, we have a rhythmical form, which is three, three, and two. And that's very important for this kind of music because we need our drummers to be able to know um, the strong points of the melody. Usually the melody plays this form and we need to be able to identify and know very well this form. So again I'm gonna play this rhythm, I'm gonna say the words and then I'm gonna count the numbers. Ready, steady, here we go. Play, ba, los, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, play, ba, los, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, Great. So next we are going to take our drums. 
here I have a Darabuka, which is a modern version of the Tubeleki, which is the traditional drum that we play this music. And actually, I don't have the original drum with me, but that's why I'm going to use the Darabuka. So, I'm going to show you where exactly to play the strokes. The first stroke, I will play a bass note with this part of my hand here. So it's it's actually between, if you can imagine a clock here on top, you're gonna have uh, number 12, so you're gonna go to number to number 9 and 10 in between, and then here where you're gonna play bass tone. And for the high pitch sound, we're gonna use one finger or two fingers, and we're gonna play on the edge of our drum here. Now, we are going to play this rhythm. I'm going to say the words and please join me. Ready, steady, here we go. Play, balos, play, balos, play, balos, play, balos. Well done, everyone. Now, the next thing that we are going to do, we are going to learn also a variation of this rhythm. The variation, the words that I would like you to use for the variation are the following. Play this on my drum, play this on my drum, play this on my drum, play this on my drum. Now the variation as body percussion. Play this on my drum, play this on my drum, play this on my drum, play this on my drum. Well done everyone, let's take our drums again. Ready, steady, play this on my drum, play this on my drum, play this on my drum, play this on my drum. Well done everyone. Next thing that we are going to do, we are going to play the main rhythm and the variation. We are going to play for three times our main rhythm. Play balos, play balos, play balos. And the fourth time we're gonna play the variation. Play this on my drum. Ready, steady, here we go. Play balos, play balos, play balos, play this on my drum. Play balos, play balos, play. Let's play this on my drum. Well done, everyone. Now, the last thing I would like to show you, I would like to play a small sample uh, of this uh, music, and I would like you to join me and play on top of the music. And uh, the music that I'm going to use, it's actually slower than usual. So, get ready, get your drums, and here we go. One and two. Play, balos, play, balos, play, balos, play. This is my drum. Play, balos, play, balos, play, balos, play. This on my drum. Play, balos, play. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed the workshop. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Also, full information about all our activities 
Indies is on our website. Still to come in our hour of Asian and European music and dance, we have an Indonesian gamelan workshop and a Bollywood dance workshop. Stay tuned! Jack here from Inspireworks. We're here at the Street Child World Cup. The atmosphere is amazing. Really great. We've got the girls team from Brazil and USA playing a game behind us at the moment. We're really looking forward to leading some drumming workshops with all these teams later today. I really enjoy playing the gamelan instruments as they're a different range of instruments like not just like the guitar and the violin. I think the advantages are that he's got experience so that he can really show us what it would be like. He gets to show us like a different instrument from different cultures. Your Inspireworks facilitator today is Mike Simpson, who is the co-founder of Inspireworks. As well as heading up Inspireworks, he is also a senior examiner for Trinity College London and is the author of Rheingold's Education, Teach and Play World Music Series of Teaching Resources. He has led workshops throughout the UK and at the Street Child World Cup in Rio de Janeiro and Moscow. 
Mike is also much in demand as a teacher trainer leading workshops on how to teach world music at Reading University, Oxford University and many educational conferences. We are thrilled he's going to lead us in the workshop today. Over to you Mike. Hello, it's great to see you. My name's Mike. Hey, look at this lovely image behind me. This is the Lotus Temple in a little tiny town, perhaps still a village, called Ubud, which is in Bali. And Ubud is where my wife and I used to live when we lived in Bali. We had a great time. I was spending my time there studying all the music and my wife was studying all the dance. And we also looked at some shadow puppetry as well. Fantastic. Love it. Now, this temple here, we spent a lot of time here. You can see it's got beautiful grounds. You can see there's a lovely lotus pond there as well. Really, really beautiful. And this would be the sort of the central sort of place for all the community to come to because you'd see there'd be a lot of ceremonies would happen here. Also a lot of rehearsals for the gamelan groups would happen here. And certainly this is the, many of the rehearsals I saw would be just under this little bamboo structure here with this roof. They'd have a gamelan set up there and they'd be playing away all the different gongs, all the telephones, all the cymbals and drums and things. Now, also as part of Balinese culture, it's really important to be processing um, for having different ceremonies where they are, are moving from one place to another and they've got lots of different temples and they'd often process from one temple to another one very often starting or ending at this particular temple in Ubud. So we'd see them process a lot and it would happen maybe a couple of times a week and the processions would always be led by the marching band. Now a Balinese marching band consists of all the gongs all the cymbals and all the drums that you'd find in a gamelan orchestra. It's really clever how they kind of just literally lift off some of the instruments from their frames and they use them. At the very front there would be the cymbal players. Now these are a pair of Balinese cymbals. Look at these, they look amazing don't they? And these are called Cheng Cheng. They're called Cheng Cheng because they go Cheng Cheng. How amazing is that? So there's lots of onomatopoeia words in in Indonesian and I think my favourite one is if you have a big saucepan and it's full of water and it's boiling the word for boiling is umblup umblup I love that so these are cheng cheng they're not cheng chengs you don't put an s on the end of the word in Indonesian that's a cheng that's a cheng so together they're cheng cheng you just say the word twice now um, the way they play them they have one upside down which they keep pretty still and other ones that way sometimes they do play them like this but actually the reason why they've got pom poms on them is because they have whole Cheng Cheng competitions where they they have them sort of almost do like cheerleading and sort of like clapping games but with a pair of Cheng Chengs in your hands and it's really impressive to watch. There's loads and loads of different rhythms they would play as part of these marching band ceremonies but there are two basic ones and they are actually borrowed from the Kechak Balinese monkey chart or maybe they're not borrowed but they're certainly just transferable they're used there so if you've seen me do that video you know what I mean. So the first one goes cha 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 Cha, cha, cha. So we just play three times, but it doesn't start on beat one. So it goes three, four, one. Cha, 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 now you can see these are really, really loud. They're definitely outdoor instruments to play them. Now, you can see what I was doing there. I was making sure the last one, the notes were stuck together. The cymbals were stuck together. So could you clap along and you try that? Remember, we don't start on beat one. We start just after. Ready? Here we go. Three, four, one. Now that's one of the rhythms. There's another one which is simply counting to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Easy. Now, just like before, the last note of the phrase, the seventh one, we keep the symbols stuck together. So let's try that. Ready? Three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, so they're the two basic symbol parts. They have lots of other ones they play as well, but they kind of, they root it. Now, the other instruments they have, they use a lot of these pot gongs here. Now, these pot gongs are absolutely fantastic. Um, they'd have normally them in Bali played in one long row on an instrument that's called a rayong. And in Java, and um, the island next to that, they're on an instrument that's called a bonang. Looks very similar, but often they're in two rows on the instrument. Now, actually, for gamelan purists who are watching this, this is during the lockdown. And at the moment, I can't access all of my Balinese gamelan instruments. So I'm actually using some of the Javanese ones. So apologies that I'm mixing my Javanese and my Balinese instruments together. But I want to try and get you to be able to do something today. So here is one of these ones. You have play with a soft stick right the centre there. Now, so normally that's just on, on a frame there and it sounds great. But what they do when they march them, they hold one each. And they just hold it in their arm a bit like cradling a baby and they hit it on the top. Now, 
I'm going to teach you four different parts that go for, for um, these rhythms. So we have to count to eight. And let's just try this for the first rhythm. We're going to count to eight, but we are only going to clap on numbers one, three, and six. Okay? Should we try it after four? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six. And stop. Great. So when you put that on the instrument, it sounds like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Great. Then they would have another instrument that maybe has a different tone to it. This one seems sounds quite a lot higher. This one, still going to count to eight, but this one we're going to play on number two, five, and eight. Shall we try that? Clap on two, five, eight. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, 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 five, six, seven, eight. Great. And then there's a third part that plays on the two numbers you haven't clapped on yet. Which ones are those? Number four and number seven. So ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they have people playing all of those together. And you can imagine when you're playing along, and often the music goes quite a lot faster than this, it's really quite hard to make sure you're counting and playing your part at the right time. So they'd have someone who maybe is kind of keeping a pulse, um, playing quite a dead and gong, but also what really keeps it together is one of these lovely big gongs here as well. Now, they, the gongs here get way, way bigger than this one, but this is pretty much the biggest one I can get to show you on the screen here. They've got beautiful sounds, and they, of course, the bigger ones sound much, much deeper. Now, this is just going to, if we're counting to eight, um, so like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it's almost like the pulse is actually there. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we could almost, instead of counting to eight, we could be thinking it one and two and three and four and one. Now, this is going to play on the last beat of the bar. The gong always plays on the last beat. So it goes one, two, 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 two
If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Also, full information about all our activities is on our website. Still to come in our hour of Asian and European music and dance, we have a Bollywood dance workshop. Stay tuned! The instrument over here is called a rayon. And for this piece of music, the baris, it plays the decoration. One, two, three, go. <laughs> for today's workshop. Your InspireWorks facilitator today is Rosario Gracia. She has been dancing, teaching and choreographing static and parade performances since 1999 throughout the UK and international festivals in Belgium, France, Germany, Spain, Brazil and Cuba. Rosaria has an in-depth knowledge of Afro-Brazilian dance practices and her expertise in international dance extends to flamenco and Bollywood, which has led to her choreographing a piece for the Notting Hill Carnival, fusing in Indian and Brazilian dance practices. She also has a passion for using dance for health and well-being and is a fellow of the Higher Education Academy, an associate lecturer in politics, international development and mental health in the community at the Open University. We are excited that she is going to lead us in a dance workshop today. Over to you, Rosaria. Hello, I'm Rosaria Gracia, and we are going to be doing a kind of a short workshop for Bollywood, but that will give you enough information for you to carry on and dance Bollywood as and when you would like to. So the first thing that we are going to be doing is show you 
mudras, the three mudras that we are going to be using. Mudras is the hand gestures that you see in Indian dance. So I'm going to come a bit closer. So the first one that we are going to be doing is the fingers together, and this is called pataka, and is, um, is meant to represent a flag. Okay, so this is pataka. And then we are going to put the first finger, middle finger together, and this is called close classical or katakamuka, or peacock, like I like to call it. And then we have the third one, which is the one that everybody calls the bulb. And we are going to have the little finger is quite close to your, the base of your hand. And it's like a lotus. The, the fancy name, or the proper name for it actually, is called alapatma. So these are the three hand gestures we are going to use. So it's pataka, or flag, peacock, and the lotus. Okay? So we are just going to be using those in the warm-up. And then in the choreography, I'm going to be showing too. Um, some footwork that you might want to, to kind of play around with. The first one is the spring step. So for the spring step, is something that is very much used in lots of international dances. So what you're doing is you're putting the foot in, one is flat and the other one is the ball of the foot. And there is a bounciness, so you kind of reach and drop, reach and drop. And you use it to move side by side forward and back and also around yeah we will try to swap legs quite often but if you feel that obviously you want to swap before by all means please do the next one that we are going to be doing is something called the sundial so ima imagine that you've got the clock around you and you got from the three or nine depending on where you are to the other side of the diameter so you go from side to side try to face the sides that you are going with the feet, okay? It gives, it's a little bit more kind of dramatic in terms of the movement and more effective. And then we go to the other side too, okay? When the music goes a little bit more Bangra, Bangra is also an Indian dance style, but it's from the Punjab. It's another geographical area in India. It's a little bit more energetic. It's the one where the shoulders kind of bob up and down. And it's, the stress is in the down. So you lift and drop. Drop, 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 drop. Great if your shoulders are tense. It's a really great exercise. And then the feet, what we are going to be doing is the feet are going to go with the heel. So heel, heel, it's a little bit more energetic and always playful. Bollywood, well, it depends on the theme and it depends on the choreography. But it's normally very playful. It really wants to make you go and dance and it's really lively. So just get into the kind of the feel of the music, okay? So we are going to do a warm up and then we just go into a short choreography.
Okay, excellent. Okay, so now we are going to be doing choreography. It's a very short kind of combination of phrases to a song from a very famous film called Om Shanti Om. It's a long film, but I recommend it. It's, it's really quite exciting. <laughs> it's really, really good fun. So we are going to be doing, the first move that we are going to be doing is like a fish. So you put your hands in pataka using the springer step and we go forward. And then we are using the tuk-tuk. And the tuk-tuk is the open classical, the lotus, and then we are coming back. And again, forward, coming back. Great. Then imagine that you are pulling a ribbon. You pull a ribbon over your head and throw it. And then you're pulling down. Okay, so you're going one, two, three, four, and then you just go around if you wish to. Or you can just keep facing front. Okay, then you support yourself, use your quadriceps, open classical, and we are going, if you can use your head side by side, by all means, please do. And we go side and side. And then we are going to do the sundial step. So we go one, two, and again, then, and side, and the other side, and two. Great. Then the song is going to say something about girls. So when it's the girl section, we are going to go forward, two, three, four. And the chorus goes om shanti om. So we are going to go om shanti om. And the chest, you can go with the hands like that, or you can go with the chest like that, or you can do both. Okay, you have the option. When it talks about boys, we are going to take a little bit more energetic, a little bit more bangra style and we are going to go forward, and back, and forward, and back, and we are going wong, shanti, om, heart, heart, yeah? So that is the phrase, or phrases, that we're going to be using. Enjoy the music, the song is very long, but so we are trying to condensate as much as we can in that little space of time. We may start the introduction with a little bit of um, bold action, on just really using that open classical. It's great for the fingers. Really stretch your hands nicely. Fantastic. Well, I hope you enjoyed kind of this snippet of Bollywood. And um, yeah, if you decide to watch the film, enjoy. And I uh, hope that you have a little bit of vocabulary of um, Bollywood dance, so then you can adapt it to your own dances and to your own music. Thank you very much from Rosaria Gracia and Inspireworks. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you've enjoyed the workshop. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Also, full information about all our activities is on our website. Next up is our hour of drumming for health and well-being and the drum circle.